Hi guys, I'm Haley. I'm Kendra. Welcome back to our channel, and today we're gonna spill all the secrets. All the stupid details of being a woman. So, the video title obviously is Things Girls Do in Private. So if you ever wanted to know if women actually do this in private, we're gonna tell you. Actually, my I actually think that all of these are true, but not everybody knew them. Oh. So, we're gonna compare. <laughs> So like number one, 80% of boys know that we worry why our period is late. I'm a lesbian. She's been shooting blanks forever. I'm gonna keep trying I'm now. St I'm still worried why my period is late. Yeah, sometimes it is concerning. Yes, but for us, I don't think we're too, too worried about pregnancy. You just worry about your cycle. You're like, why am I late? But, oh my God, my period is gonna hurt like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're like, uh, are my hormones okay? Yeah. Like, usually you're period symptoms are worse if you're late. That's true. Yeah. All right, 75% of boys know that we wait for a text from crush. They should have worded that better, but okay. Yes. Um, yes, duh, of course, of course, uh, of course. I feel like that could be anybody, not necessarily, not necessarily like a girl or boy thing. Do you I, guys wait for your crush to text you or do you text your crush? Are they waiting for you to text them? No, like if, so like if I were to text you like at the beginning, mm -hmm. I would text you and then every notification I'd be like, Oh, that's not her. Oh, that's not her. Oh. oh, that's not her. You know? Oh, is that them? Oh, no. Just another notification from DoorDash. Yeah. 66% of boys know that we steal our partner's clothes. Oh, yeah. We definitely do that. Also, I want to say that as a perk of being in a woman loving a woman relationship, though she is clearly more feminine than I am, uh, we do change outfits and, and we, we swap we clothes. Steal each other's we, still, clothes. we steal each other's yeah. clothes all the time. I've yeah. doubled my closet. Yeah. Same. It's great big brain energy Are right we wearing here. anything of each other's right now? Um, are these your shorts? I don't know whose shorts those are. We have matching pair of pajama pants. We do. I, I'm wearing pajama pants. Don't judge me. You guys weren't supposed to see my lower half. 62% of boys uh, know that we gossip behind your back. Oh. Did you know that gossiping actually helps us to connect with others? Wow. Huh. Really? Ooh. That's not gossiping. Oh, okay. That's confessing love. She said, I love you so much and I think you're the best. You're cute. Okay. 58% of boys know that we take an everything shower. Are there showers that are not everything? I'm confused. Wash your hair, wash body, shave everything. Okay. Like an everything shower. You do literally everything. I don't know Is if Is that I'm... not normal? I don't shave my legs every time. No. But I always wash my hair and I what always a, wash my body. Wait, for any of the boys out there that didn't know this, I'm guessing it's 42%. What do you what think did you we think do we in the did shower? In the shower? <laughs> That's the whole point of a shower is to wash yourself. I, it's a little sus. A little sus, love. Yeah. 55% mm -hmm. of boys know that we stalk people on social media. It's important to know what people from high school are up to these days. I actually don't do that. No, Unless I'm, like, actively talking about someone. And I'm like, oh, let me show you what they look like so you have a face of the name. Yeah. I don't really do that either because I think it's a waste of my time. Yeah. 52% of boys know that we pick at Ingard Hairs. Not me. What did you show me last night? Fuck, you're right. I had an ingrown hair. I don't pick at those. I also, knock on wood, am lucky enough to not usually get them. So Fair. I might pick at them if I got them. 50% of You're boys... You're actually pretty good at not doing that. No, yeah, I really don't. I try really hard not to pick at anything. I try yeah. hard not to pick at my face. I try hard not to pick at my nails. I'm not so successful with that, yeah. but I'm working on it. Yeah. 50% of boys know that we use adult toys. Only 50? What? Have you not seen our love honey yet? <laughs> also, I think that everybody should use toys. I'm just of the opinion that they make things more fun. I think that we should break down the stigma and stereotypes that men are not allowed to bring toys into the bedroom because they would be competing with them. It's not how that works. You should yet. not be competing with your toys. It should be used to enhance your teammates. Yes. You should know that also. Yeah, and if you don't want to use toys, that's totally fine, but it's crazy to me that only half of the boys in the world know also, that Also, just because women you don't use... want to use toys doesn't mean that you should stop your partner from using toys. Fair. 48% of boys knew that we drink wine straight from the bottle. I drink everything straight from the bottle. What did you drink the other day that was like, I was like, what are you doing? I was like, other people are going to drink from that. And she was like, I don't care. <laughs> and drinks. And I was like, babe, you rebel. I'm healthy and I bought it. 
fair. It's my you did say that you felt health, healthy, so that works. 45% of boys know that we dig for boogers. Doesn't everyone? If you got a booger on your nose, you can't get out. How do you read the fact? Did you read the fun fact? Did you know that eating boogers actually reduces the risk of getting a habit? Or brush your teeth? Is that true? No, I don't believe that. Is that true? What's the source? Someone needs to fact check right now. 42% of boys know that we put on makeup to cover acne. 42%? This is just going to get more and more crazy. Yes, yes. We have cover up makeup for I a reason. I have makeup all over my face to cover I my acne. I don't have makeup on, but that's okay also, too. Also, if you can't look at someone and tell that they're wearing makeup, I'm a little concerned for your eyesight. Mm, be careful. Be careful. There's some makeup that is really, 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 really natural low-key very mellow on on camera sure in person no i can always tell if a girl's wearing makeup you're a woman that's true yeah. i wear makeup so 41.5 percent of boys know that we squeeze chests for comfort do i do that for comfort i do that to warm up my hands it's kind of nice it is kind of nice. sports bra well, right now. So also, if you like women and you like boobies. Yeah. Love tits. I actually do this when I'm like freaking out to comfort myself. So that was what I first thought of. But they mean titties. Huh. I like titties. The more you know. I, didn't, I don't think I, I knew that anyways. 40% okay. of boys know that we wear lingerie for no reason. There is a reason. There is a reason. It's to feel sexy. To make yourself feel good. To make you feel sexy. Yeah. It's the same reason that like I, even if I'm not doing anything, I will always... Not always, but most of the time. I will put on makeup and jewelry and put on a nice outfit. It's not because I'm going out and I want people to see oh. me. It's because it makes me feel good. Just saying that women actually do things in private, like wear lingerie for no reason. I guess that's also true. Sometimes I'll wear, like, something sexy. But there's always secretly that, like, Because I want to feel of, good. Yeah. 38% yeah. of boys know that we look in the mirror after crying. You have to. To make sure you didn't mess up your makeup. Oh, Yeah. It says something about that post cry face just looks so beautiful. No. I also, no. I don't agree with that. I don't that. agree with that. I'm the like, only time, I look ridiculous right now. Yeah. The only time that I look at myself in the mirror while crying is to tell myself to buck up, quit that shit. Come on, pull yourself together. That's the only time that I look in the mirror while I'm crying. I feel crying. like I need that like on my actual mirror. Buck up. <laughs> Get your shit together. You can do it. If you're crying right now, just quit it. I literally, that's the only time I look in the mirror while I'm crying. Wow. <laughs> to give myself a pep talk. Well, good thing you don't cry very often, so. That's true. I'm not a car. 36% of boys know that we undo pants string after eating too much. Oh, um, yeah, I'll do that at the table. I'll My do that in public. Why? Right, okay, well, at least you're outing yourself. Because I was going to say, Kendra will unbutton her pants. Anyway. At any table. Yep. No matter what. Thanksgiving, guaranteed. Oh, 100%. Button. Guaranteed. Melting pot? Were you having a big, big food? And a big, 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 food. big, big, big food. I meant miss a, miss a, a miss a, um, a big feast. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. I meant to say, my brain was going. I miss a. I miss a. I have enough feast. I miss a. <laughs> Buttons undone, basically. Ooh, um, if I'm wearing a belt, I'll also take that off in public and wrap it up and put it in my pocket. <laughs> Fair, you will. You know? Uh, how do you guys not know this? Do you guys not do this? Do boys do this? Do they unbutton their pants if they eat too much? Listen, some boys used to think that girls don't poop, so. We don't. I take a shit. Okay, 35% of boys know that we pull loose hairs on, we put loose ha hairs on the shower wall. Yeah. Uh, it stops the drain from clogging. It, I don't want to have to clean my drain every, like, month. That's ridiculous. Yeah, and we lose a lot of hair. So we it's do. like having, like... You know, if you have a dog around or a cat around, like, imagine that. Yeah. But, like, worse, probably. Yeah. Like, we vacuum our only carpet, and uh, it is full of hair. Sometimes I have to vacuum it two or three I'm, times. like, confused why I'm not bald, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. yeah, when I clean out, when I clean out the, the, the place where we put our loose hairs in the shower, it's, like, a small animal. It it's is. Like it's kind of gross. It's kind of gross. Yeah. Right now, it's got a sparkle in it. 34.3% of boys know Ooh, that we three. help. 34.3. I just thought the point three was funny. Nothing else oh. had a point on it. Point three, yes. We help friends write messages to boys. This is also true to girls. Oh, that's or true, to period. Or anybody yeah. or anything. I help Haley write her text messages all the time. All the time. Yeah. I'm the world's worst texter. She and, is. Uh, I'm like, if I respond back, I'm going to sound like an asshole. Yes. 
Yeah. Or I'm going to be an asshole. Can I give the example that I usually give? Sure. If somebody asks you, hey, what time should I be there? Like for a party or something. You would say? Five. Anything else? Period? No. You would just say five? Just five. Okay. So I would hear that and think that she's upset and there's something wrong. So when you respond to someone and you want to be nice and make sure that they know that there's that all's, all's well, I say bookend it. So if somebody asked me what time to be there tonight, I would say, hey, so excited to see you. Um, everybody else is getting there at five. Feel free to get there whenever you want to. You know, like that. Bookend it. To me, I feel like if I'm ready for a conversation, I just FaceTime me or call me. Text She's messages a much better are FaceTimer. meant to be convenient, quick, to the point. And that's just how I feel about it. But that's okay. I'm working on it. I'm, I've been using punctuation and emojis, so I've gotten a lot better at it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 30, or I'll just ignore it. 32% <laughs> of boys um, knew that we replay arguments. Is Did boys not do this either? Because I would assume that boys do this. I would assume everyone replays arguments. You have to, because if you don't, then you don't. I, to me, I'm like, oh, I should have said this. Or what about that? I'm like, oh, my God, I have an epiphany. Like... What do you mean? Why didn't I say that? Yeah, I do that, but I also just sit there and remember things and beat myself up about it. Yeah. I'm just an overthinker. Yeah. yeah. So if I have ever said anything wrong in my entire life, I guarantee you that I remember it, and then I think about it at least once a month. 31% of boys know that we only shave before we're going on a date. To be completely honest with you, I've almost always done that. Because there's that expectation that we have to have, like, yes. no hair on our legs, shaved I'd, armpits. I'd be sure that I shave before a date. But I also, in the summertime, I'll shave all the time. True, because yeah. you wear dresses and stuff yeah. like that. In the summer, I shave most of the time. This is the longest I've ever gone without shaving my armpits, you guys. Oh, I don't impressive. know how I feel about it yet. It's impressive. But, like... And, and it's orange. It's orange. So when people are like, she's not really a ginger, I'm like, you should see your... <laughs> The whole internet knows when you dissed me when we were talking about our ick. That's enough. Sometimes girls shave and sometimes girls don't. And sometimes boys do and sometimes boys don't. Sometimes non-binary humans do and sometimes they don't. Just whatever. Okay. 30% 30 of boys, boys knew that we were in the same bra for an entire week. Okay. Depends on the girl, man. De yep. She cannot do I that. I cannot do that. She I can wear a bra. Sweaty. I can wear a bra two or three days in a row. Yes. And probably the reason why... It doesn't why, even have to be in a row. Two or three days max. And the reason why... Well, the sports bra, you don't. You don't wear a sports bra. No, you wear a sports bra once. But that being said, if you had to wash your bras every single time after you wore them, you Probably. would go through them so fast. And they fall apart. already hard enough yeah. to find ones that are yeah. comfortable and that fit you well enough. So I just don't wear any at all. Also... Also, realistically, like, unless I really am fucking going at it and working out and doing all sorts of crazy shit in my actual bra, um, then it really is not that dirty. I shower and then I put it on. So. I bet 0% of you guys knew this. Kendra in the morning takes her bra, goes, babe, does this smell dirty? And then makes me smell it. And I'm like, no, it's okay. You could probably wear this one for like one more day. Or it's she'll be like, rip. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> put them in the laundry. <laughs> I go wash that. <laughs> That smells sweaty. 29.5% of boys know that we rest hands in pants. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, that was the first thing I thought of when they said that you do this for comfort. I was like, not really. I put my hand in my pants for comfort. But, like, not in, like, a provocative, no. like, want to touch myself way. No. It's more of, like, it's a... It's just comfy. Yeah. Yeah. Do boys do this? Boys have to do this. Boys definitely do this, but I feel like it's a little bit more provocative. I don't know. Every time I see a guy with his hands in his pants, he's scratching. Um, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Or I'll just, like, rest my hand. That's just, it's just comfy. Right. Usually when I'm watching TV. 29% of boys know that we check out bulges. <sighs> this is not applicable for us. Are you kidding? Sometimes um, I'll check out a bulge, but not in a way of, like, looking at someone's thing. But it's, like, there. So you're, like, holy God. Jesus. I, you know? Have you never seen that? Like, we're walking down the street oh, if, and if you can, like. it's, like, really a bulge, I'm, like. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to, like, <laughs> stare at it. No, thank Wait. you. It depends. What does check out? Am I like, oh my god, babe, look at his lump? No. No. <laughs> no. But if it's there, like he's scrolling through TikTok, I know you guys have oh, seen yeah, it. Oh yeah, for sure. <coughs> Garrett Nolan. Yeah. All right. You can't uh, not see that. I mean, that's the whole point of the video. Because you're not staring at it. No. It's staring at you. It's staring at you, yeah. 28% right. of boys knew that we remo removed dirt from under our fingernails. If you don't do this, and you are expecting to put your fingers anywhere fun, you will be sorely mistaken. 
And what they mean by that is we'll actually look at our nails and we'll actually use the, do this. Yeah, my nails aren't dirty right now. My nails are not dirty either. Um, be, probably because we do this. Look, there should be no dirt underneath your nails. Yeah. No dirt. That's gross. Yes. Hygiene. That, we once went, oh my God, we once went to urgent care and the person who was going to, who was going to draw Haley's blood had dirt underneath all his of his fingernails. His nails were so dirty. And I and almost he told did him not, to get the fuck out. He didn't even put on gloves. And I was like, That's babe, gross. I looked at babe, I looked at babe. I was like, it's okay as long as he can get it. And he didn't get it. Nope. That's when I got stuck like four or five times. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Clean your nails. 27% of boys know that we pull loose hair from your butt crack. Yes. Well, if you have long hair, it's inevitable because Sometimes. you wash your hair like this. And where's the loose hair going to go? Down. And it gets stuck in your butt crack. So you after you shower, out, after you shower. Wait. I just showered. <laughs> I didn't it's wait, actually is yours? from mine. <laughs> no, that's yours. That's red. Nope, oh, that one's mine. That one's yours. Oh, oh my god! god. It's our love. I'm carrying your love with me. Anyways, uh, that's a real thing. I just didn't uh, do yeah. that. And sometimes that was that was two, but you know. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes it's a lot. What is the probability of that? I just showered, so that makes sense. 25% of boys know that we practice smiling. Um, yeah. Okay. Not often. I feel like I did that whenever I was younger. Yeah, I used to do that. Like, I used to make faces in the mirror as a kid. Sometimes I after really I brush my teeth, I'm like, you know. Oh, but, yeah, I check but my I don't teeth. practice smiling. I don't practice smiling. But sometimes I'll fake smile because if you fake smile, it'll like trick your brain into thinking you're happy. And I thought that yeah. maybe you would get, like, get rid of my anxiety. Did but it, it didn't. No. <laughs> No, it didn't. <laughs> Good effort, you know. No. Just it's, it's, it's worth a try. Rearranging my thoughts and my feelings changed yeah. my anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. 24.5% of boys knew this. We give clothes the sniff test. That Do you guys not smell your clothes to make sure that they smell okay? Let me tell you. You have to. Like, yeah, you do. I smell good. And then also. We'll also, I didn't put on deodorant, but I don't stink, so that's good. I put on deodorant earlier, but I was running around. I had to change into a sports bra because I was so sweaty, so I know I'm sweaty. Um, well, this is a new shirt. So. Mm, this smells good. Um, also, like, if I am just hanging out around the house and I only wear an item of clothing for, like, two hours, I'm not going to wash that. I'm just going to put it to the side and then wear it again. But before I wear it again, I will smell it. To make sure it smells okay. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just like that smell of laundry, you know? True. All right. 23% okay. of boys know that we release all farts at the end of the day. That's not true. Not for you. Nope. I almost always only fart at night. You know that, right? But you don't hold it. No, I don't hold it. I just think that laying down. Yeah. Because I'm a tummy sleeper. I start laying on my tummy. My tooth just start coming out. I don't hold my tooth unless I'm... I'm, I'm... No, ever. No, ever. that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I mean, I don't know. I will, I will hold them if, I, if I'm around somebody I don't know. I don't, I don't trust them. Then I'll hold them. We're in the airplane, right? We're in the airplane. Okay, when we're traveling, I, uh, I, do you want me to be sick while we travel? No. You, this is why you because should not. Because then you get upset if I'm sick. I'm not upset that you're sick. I'm upset that I can't hold you. I know, I know. Okay. 22% of boys knew that we hold keys between our fingers for safety. We yep. do do that. Yeah. Yep. I actually have... Yep. Um, um, Trying to think about like so like show you. Literally hold like three keys in between here while we're walking. Wolverine. Honestly. Yeah. Except for I have a little a little pink um stabby thingy on my so I can just I have a teaser. Shank somebody. <clears throat> At least while I'm out and paper pe paper spray. <laughs> pepper spray. Paper ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> paper cut. <laughs> pepper Actually spray. paper cuts really hurt. And Have you ever had a cardboard cut? And the, and the pew pews, but you know. Anyways. Yeah, but you can't carry that over. Twenty one percent of boys know that we plug chin hairs. Yeah, duh. I have one chin Just hair. One. I don't have any. And it comes back every so often and it is so deep in my chin and, and it's, it's orange. Orange. It's orange. Sometimes so you fucking I love it. Twenty percent of boys know that we poop more during periods. That's true. You As, call them period poops. Yes, we call them period poops. The reason why is because our uterus is shedding. So and it's the cramping. reason, yes. So this cramping, and what it's doing is contracting those muscles, practicing and for an actual baby to yeah. be pushed out. And because all that happens, it gets things flowing. You I know? hope that. Listen, okay. Just in case there are some people on here who don't know that, when you have your period, your body is literally practicing for a baby. Yes, it's, you're basically having you're basically it. giving birth without like, the child. But you didn't you didn't get fertilized. So you don't have a child in there. 
Yes. But that's, so you're literally contracting to make everything go down. So obviously if there's contracting happening to make things go down, everything else is going to go down. 19.7% yes. of boys know that we plan every outfit for the week. That's not true. If we travel. That is true. That is true. Yes. Or if I have for an us, event. Yes. I, because I want to be sure that's clean. I don't need to go do laundry real quick. Yes. We yeah. will literally lay out outfits like this could be for this day. This could be versatile. Blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's a little extra sometimes, but in the grand scheme of things. It makes sense. It's super helpful. 18% of boys knew that we stressed over uneven eyeliner. That is true. Yeah, because you see it. Yep. You're like looking in the mirror and you're like, this looks crazy. Luckily, I have, you guys know this, I have like my side sweep bangs. So if one's uneven, I just hide it. <laughs> I'm like, eh, fuck it. I don't have eyeliner on Oh, fair. You're pretty. Oh, All right, 17.5% of boys know that we pretend to sing in the mirror. I don't pretend I don't do that. to sing. I actually sing. We actually sing. Yeah, but not in the mirror, in the shower. I sing everywhere. Seventeen percent of boys knew that we take one. Oh, whoa, that we take hundreds of selfies no one will ever see. Mm, considering our life is online, that's not true. But I do take like a hundred photos, and then I only use fifteen of them. I know. So because I take the hundred yeah. photos. Yeah. Yeah, but you love a good candid moment. Fair. That's true. Sixteen percent of boys knew that we eat food that falls into our bra. Yeah, you're not gonna waste it. And for me, it doesn't. It goes straight goes down to my belly shirt. button. Because I do if I drop food, I'm just going to eat it. Titties. You just saving it for later? Like, you imagine, like, food falls. Oh, wait. It's <laughs> oh on my, my waistline. <laughs> Quit. 15% of boys knew that we look at our reflection down there. Oh, um... Yeah, I would agree with this. Sometimes you just need to Only know... Only occasionally. That, yeah. Not often. No, it's not like every day. It's like, oh, I'm going to check her out. No. It's a more of a... Hmm, I wonder what they see kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Or like sometimes I'll walk by a mirror as I'm getting dressed for the night and I'm like... Alexa? Thank you, Alexa. We're talking about our coochies. This is a private moment. <laughs> Did you hear her? I... She said thank you. Your kindness gives me an extra charge. Okay. I think she likes us talking about these things. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of nervous that she's listening. I have to whisper. I'm going to start getting coochie ads. Uh, bro, for real. You know your Alexa listens to you and gives you ads accordingly on your phone, right? You know, we're going to get sold mirrors. Winning lottery ticket. Winning lottery ticket. How much you want to bet my next ad is going to be a, a nice handheld mirror? <laughs> that would be hilarious. If yeah, you get that, please screenshot I will. All right. Okay. 11% of boys knew that we sleep clothesless. Oh my God, duh. It actually improves your quality of sleep. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. Honestly, it makes sense. I sleep. Yep. So if it's a nap, no. No. But yes. But at night, yeah, for sure. 10% boys know that we Google our own name. Uh, yes. Yeah. In fact, that's more normal for us. Definitely. Yeah. All right, 9% of boys know that we go days without washing hair. You so, should not wash your hair every single day unless you have short yes, hair. unless you have short hair. If you have short hair, wash your hair every single day. If you have longer hair, you should wash your hair. I wash my hair twice a week. That doesn't mean that I don't wash my hair every day i condition my hair and thoroughly do, 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 it every single day but, 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 yeah. it actually makes that sound it does <laughs> yeah um every single day i, I just only cannot wash my hair every single day or it'll be my hair a mess on wednesdays and saturdays yes eight percent of the boys know that we walk around the house without undies are you wearing undies no ask me if i'm wearing undies are you wearing undies no i actually almost always but, wear underwear okay this is a special <laughs> circumstance for me you really are. Wow. She got waxed today. I did. So. Her second time. Sorry, TMI. Um, but so you can't wear underwear after getting waxed. Didn't know that. I didn't get waxed. I didn't go to the grocery store with no underwear on. It's very I'm uncomfortable. I'm just not wearing underwear. Yeah. Well, you just showered, so. True. 7.5% of boys know that we scroll on Pinterest for hours. Okay, I do that, but I do that because I, I think that it's healthier than scrolling on Instagram. I feel like I consume so many of other, so much of other people's opinions mm. and other people's lives that I don't really want to see. I feel like Pinterest is maybe Instagram. an app that like just inspires you a little bit more, right? Yeah. Like to get creative or yeah. like to be like motivated to like. And I'm not taking in information on Pinterest. Okay. I don't scroll on Pinterest, so I wouldn't know. Six percent of boys know that we make an emergency pad out of toilet paper. You have yeah. to sometimes. Sometimes you have to. So you don't have a choice. Are you kidding me? You just want me to free bleed all over my clothes? Yeah, or whenever you get out of the shower and you're really, really bleeding, sometimes you just have to put a little bit of toilet paper right there just to hold so you, you off and so you can get, get something on. Get stuff on, yeah. yeah. Do you, the, what, the next one, though, 5.5% of boys know that we lick our own chest. What? 
Are you talking about our tits? I can't get down there. You have tried to lick your tit at least once, right? It's just to see if I could. Same. But I've tried to lick my nose at least once. That's like boys. I can't. That's like boys using their balls to cup water in the shower. I use my belly button. Do you guys do that? Don't answer that. They do it. They know what I'm talking about. They know exactly what I'm talking about. 5% of boys know that we pick out belly fluff. I don't have belly button fluff. Because I don't, I don't have an any, really. No, I have, well, I have my belly button pierced, so. 4% of boys know that we leave a hair mask in for too long. Um. I don't do hair masks. Same. Sounds like fun, though. Would you leave yours in for very long? No, I would leave it in for the allotted amount of time. Yeah, she's she's a real follower I'm when it comes to that kind of stuff. I'm very careful about that kind of stuff. I know I can mess mess you up. I'm not trying to mess up my hair. True, true, true. Three point five percent of boys know that we pick off mascara with our fingers. Only if I'm wondering whether or not I have makeup on. Yeah. I mean, you're like this. I'm like I'm like did I did I take my makeup off? Nope. Oh, All yeah. right. Like <laughs> should go do or that. Or we're like this with yeah. eyeliner all the time. Yeah. Three percent right. of boys knew that we. Scratch our crotch when hair is regrowing. It's so itchy. And you have to because it actually helps exfoliate does, the hairs yeah. out, you know. Unless you're going to dry brush. And it's super itchy. Like, you it's got hair so growing, itchy. so it's... It's so itchy. Yeah. You shave, and then you tell me whether or not it's itchy. You bet they it's do. Itchy. Their their facial hair, I'm sure their facial hair gets itchy and bothers oh, them sometimes. that's a good point. Does that yeah. get itchy? Does your I'm, beard get itchy if you shave and then it starts growing I think back? my brother's told me that, yeah. 2.5% of boys know that we examine tampon after pulling it out. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. You've got to see whether or not you need to put another one in, or if you just need to put on a or how and much you're, you're bleeding, or like what period stage you are, because there's the beginning of your period that looks different, and then there's the middle of your period where you're like really bleeding, really really bleeding, and then there's the end of your period, or there's just like nothing on it. So yeah. you're like, mm, am I getting off my period, or am yeah. I not? Do I really so, need to put in another tampon? Right. Yeah. So it's all those things. Two percent of boys knew that we look at our discharge pants. Again. <laughs> You have to to know what's going on, bro. Ovulation looks different than arousal, you know. Starting your period looks different than on your period than ending your period. Yeah. Also, like we are always constantly making sure that our pH balance is normal and that everything down there is all good. You know, you got a cavern, so you have to make sure that it's healthy. Also, sometimes you start your period too early, and then you bleed on underwear that you didn't think that you were going to bleed on because you weren't supposed to start. Also, for the next when six you pull down your pants, it's just there. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be walking around with dirty underwear on. Oh so. my gosh. It's the worst, the worst when you feel like you're just sitting in a puddle. One percent of boys know that you dip and sniff. Sometimes girls will touch their privates and sniff, you know, just because. Again, knowing that everything is healthy and okay, I feel like is important. Just to be like, all right, she's good. Girls do that. Girls definitely do that. I guess boys don't really have to worry about that. No, they don't have to, they don't have to, I don't think they have to worry about pH balance. It's like, if you have gauges, any gauges out there, like, if you ever go like this and, like, smell it, it's kind of like that. I don't think it's like, like that. There's like, there's, like, an okay. innate, like, an innate feeling to, like, want. I feel like it's, like, probably, oh, it's, like. Oh, it's, it's, like, a, a medical need. Like, that's my first, I'm, I'm not gonna. That's like checking out your poop after you poop. Yeah, to be sure that everything is okay, okay? If it looks like you're pooping clay, you gotta go to the hospital. Only or if you're pooping 1%. black stuff, then you're internally bleeding and you need to go to the hospital. You know, like you you gotta check out that you're healthy and that everything's okay. Fair. All right, I wanna know what the most surprising thing that you guys yeah. learned from this was. Yeah. Um, mine is that only 1% of boys know about that. You I, Also, if you're gonna like have sex, you wanna be sure that like it's all good down there for your partner and that you don't need to go shower real quick. You know, yeah, all, like, yeah. There's a lot of things. There's a there's, lot of there's reasons, a lot of reasons why to do that. Yeah, but yeah. I don't need to defend myself because half the world does it. So, anyways, thank you guys for this crazy journey. Um, let us know which one you were most surprised by, and yeah. let us know if there are any of these that you also do. I want to know, or that you don't do, or that you didn't know that people do. Fair. Let's get it. Till next time. Love you guys. Bye.